what's up coders welcome to one little coder in this python tutorial you're going to learn how to build a zero shot image classifier so you are not necessarily going to build a zero shot image classification model rather we are going to just do model inference thanks to prithviraj damodaran who is a prolific open source contributor i've covered couple of his libraries already on this channel so he has recently come out with zsic zero shot image classification and as he says zero shot image classification but more supports multilingual labeling and a variety of cnn models for a vision backbone by using open ai clip for conscious use cases and there is a dollar in it and the main thing that i actually like this of course a 10th grader could totally write this but since no 10th grader did i just wrote this this is amazing sense of humor and also thanks to prithviraj's open source contribution he um, he addresses himself prithvi da so thanks to prithvi da for, uh, for for his open source contribution we're going to use this library and do emoji classification we're going to use zero shot image classification library z s i c for emoji classification and i'm going to use a kaggle data set for that the kaggle data set and the kaggle notebook and also the github repository would be linked in the youtube description please make sure that you star the repository and also give a shout out to the developer this would mean a lot to the developer who is also you know contributing to open source a lot so now starting with the kaggle notebook so i've uh, i've gone to the kaggle data set page and then i've created a new notebook the first step is to install the library so because it is I don't think it is available on PyPy at this moment, so directly install it from Git. So when you install it from Git, this is what happens. And after that, you can import a class zero shot image classification from ZSIC. After you do that, create an instance of ZSIC. Like you can, you can do it whatever name you want, and you can see that it starts loading the required model. In this case, OpenAI Clip model with Wit VIT. Uh, vision transformer so at this point your model is ready you have imported the required class so which means you are ready to go do zero shot image classification before we start with an emo emoji classifier emoticon classifier i wanted to show you whether it works or how it works first uh, the first thing is i've got an image from the internet which is a bicycle image we all know this is a bicycle but can we trust this model so i'm going to ask this model what is this and the way we ask a zero shot image classifier very similar to the zero shot text classifier that's available with hugging face transformer you pass on the input image so this input image takes three kind of attributes one you can give a url that would download the image from the url two you can have a local file reference path three if you have got a pillow image you can pass that pillow image so you can do either of these three right now i'm just passing the url I've got the URL here. I'm passing the URL, and I'm giving the candidate labels. So the candidate labels indicate or tell this zero-shot image classifier that this image is associated with one of these labels. And then what is that label? Is what we are going to figure out using the score that it gives. So I've given the candidate label saying airplane, ship, car, bicycle. I don't know how does it look, but for me it looks like a, it looks like a bicycle. But let's see what the image says. The the model says. When I run this, you can see that it takes a couple of seconds, but it it just finished. Then next thing is when I print the image, you can see that it um it has successfully managed it has successfully managed to print the actual output. So you can see that the it it is a JSON object. You can see there is an image which says what is the input image. Then the scores you've got the scores, and you can see the maximum score. If you see the maximum score, like for example, if I do prints of score. of max you can see the maximum score or oh, scores maximum scores is 99 and that is associated with bicycle so you can basically see the prints of score dot index of if i do that oh prints of score scores of index dot index that gives us the position where this maximum score is present so now at this point you know the maximum score what is the maximum score so let me print the maximum score first in a separate cell so this is your maximum score okay sorry this is your maximum score 
and we are going to see the maximum scores label instead of manually printing bicycle i want to i want to use this as a reference and print it so now i can say prints of label okay prints of labels labels and this as the index now it would print bicycle so now i'm going to put these things together in an f string a very nice f string i want to say f of um oh, what do we want to print this image is a is i should say and then i'm going to put a star i'm going to put this this to just close the f string and i'm going to write this with a score of and i'm going to write this so this is basically as assuming that this image is a bicycle with a score of 0.999 so we have successfully managed to take an image from the internet simple so the steps i would quickly repeat before we move on to the emoji classification first install the library very simple install it from git second load the library from zsic import zero shot image classification create an instance of zero shot image classification that would download the required models you can see the size of the model is around 340 mbs and it, it downloaded fast thanks to kaggle next get an input image that you want to classify and then you have to define the candidate labels and then finally you have got you have got the prediction and then you are doing a little bit formatting to finally print it so now i'm going to do the same thing for emoji classification okay so where do i have emojis i've got a data set here and i've got a lot of emojis and i can see the emojis as well here so but this time i'm going to do a little bit different because i want to display the emoji as well like i want to display the image so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first call it emoji classification emoji classification using zero shot image classifier classification classification is redundant but that's okay so now we have got the title the next thing is we need to define the input image so this is my input image i'm going to copy this but before that i'm going to load pillow from pil import image okay so import image so we have loaded image the next thing is i'm going to open the image and store it inside an object i'm going to call it in img image dot open and i'm going to give this this is to show you that you can also give a pillow in image object and also you can display the image like this like i've got two reasons why i'm doing this this way or you can directly give the local the local path but i i wouldn't be able to show you what image i'm using so that's that's the reason so oh this this one i've got to move i've got to move up yeah that you'll be there you'll be there you'll be there yeah we're good so we have got we have got pillow we have got the input image we have got the image so i'm going to copy this from here which is we are going to do the predictions so predictions input image instead of input image i'm going to give image just the difference is there we gave a url but right now we are giving a pillow object and what are the candidate labels i want to say this is sad this is anger this is maybe uh, maybe crying maybe ghost i don't know and finally maybe happy okay i'm going to give all these four options and i'm going to ask the classifier to classify the image after i do that i'm just going to copy this final that we just formatted and created and then going to paste it here and then you can see it says this image is happy with a score of 0.83 so you can see that this emoticon or this emoji has been classified successfully using a zero shot image classifier let's try one or two more for us to maybe maybe we can use a different um, different one so this is google um if i use sorry that's facebook right if i use google one how does it look can, do i have a different image i've got an image i think the finding the image okay i think this looks like a middle let's see let's see if it works i'm going to give this image now here okay i'm going to use this this is my image and the candidate labels that i want to give sad anger um first and i'm going to say second and i'm going to say middle let's see let's see what happens now you know we are actually confusing the zero shot image classifier because it's it's both first and it's a middle but let's see what happens i'm going to run this 
and I'm going to run the next one to see what is happening. Let me close all these. Let me close all these images and then you can see it says this image is a medal with a score of 0.98. That's great. But let's let's see the prints and then see what's happening. So it, it has kind of given um, 0 0.02 for the first one, but it still managed to classify this as middle. So now what happens? Let me I wanted to try one more thing Mira, I can say gold middle. I can say silver middle and I can say a bronze middle. Okay, and I don't want to give the fourth one. That's fine. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but instead of just generically saying middle, I want to check whether it is a gold medal, silver medal, bronze medal. Again, I'm, I'm just trying it out. I'm not sure if it's going to give the result that we want. Using zero shot image classifier, printing out the parade, but that's not important. And it says it's a gold medal with a score of 0.6926. Where did we find the silver medal? I want to take the silver medal now. Uh, what is the name of this image? It's 0.98, right? So I, let me take the silver medal. I'm going to take the silver medal, which is 10, 19 and I've got the silver medal. Let me check what happens. Oh, it has successfully classified. This as a silver medal. That is amazing. I don't know if these things were part of the training data set. I'm not sure. I'm not sure um, how clip has been trained all those things, but you can, you can actually see that it is doing a great job, even though it is a zero shot classifier. And the greatest thing about the zero shot classifier that Prithviraj has built is it's not just for English. It's not like it works only in English. It supports a lot of languages. You can see all the languages that it supports. I don't know most of these languages, so that's why I'm not using it with any other language, but you can see it supports most of these languages. And the next thing is not just the multiple languages, you can also attach multiple backend. So right now by default, I think it uses a width, but you can, you can, um, you can use CNN or transformer based model for vision back backbone. So you can you can do one customization. You can change the language Two, you can change the backbone for uh, for the vision backbone. Three, the entire thing that you see here works based on the hypothesis template. So if you see the note on the GitHub repository by default for English, the hypothesis template goes like this, a photo of but for different languages, it is defaulted to this, which means there is just a parenthesis. So if you want to improve your result for different languages, then you need to manually give a hypothesis template. You need to give a hypothesis template as one of the arguments that helps the vision classifier, that helps the zero shot classifier to make robust prediction scores because it tries to, so what, what it basically tries to do is the text that you give this photo is of that's what it tries to align with each of these objects, and then whichever is closest, then it would try to give you the um, appropriate score. So by basically optimizing the hypothesis template, you can improve the scores that you are getting. You can you can optimize the results. So overall, this is an amazing um, amazing library. Just like I say, like make sure that you go give a star to the repository, and then uh, and then give a shout out to the developer. But so far we have seen that it works very well with the uh, emoji classifier and also for any image from the internet. I'm going to save this Kaggle notebook and I'm going to share it in the YouTube description. So you can check it out and just copy my notebook and uh, start start playing with the zero shot image classification. I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, I hope you're going to create your own version, some classifier. If you create anything new, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope you stay safe. Happy coding. Peace.